Howdy everyone, David here at Tabletopping.net and this is a continuation of my Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition Player's Handbook Classes Review and this video is based on the wizard. So if you've downloaded the basic rules from the Wizards of the Coast or D&D website you're going to notice that the wizard is in that as an option for you to play as a class. However, it only has one different archetype and it's the evocation archetype so uh, there is a lot more information on the wizard in the player's handbook although the base wizard and the evocation archetype are basically word for word verbatim what is in the basic rules so hopefully by the end of this video uh, you'll be able to see all the other archetypes and determine if you want to invest the money into getting the player's handbook or not so you're gonna see here there's eight pages of information total and there's beautiful art for the wizard and it's just jam-packed full of information like I said there's literally there's eight pages of information on the wizard so the wizard if you want to play a wizard this is the information that you want to read and how to influence your play style for a wizard you're also going to see that there's a nice matrix here that tells you everything that you get from levels 1 to 20 including your proficiency bonus all of the other different features that your class gets your cantrips and also your spells per day and spell level so the mage or the wizard they get a d6 for hit points every single level it also has their proficiencies listed for armor weapons tools saving throws and skills and their saving throw proficiencies for the wizard are intelligence and wisdom. You're also going to know that, uh, of course, obviously, wizards cast spells. So it has all of the different spell casting rules here, from cantrips to your spell book, preparing and casting spells, and your spell casting ability, which is your spell save DC and spell attack modifier formulas that are based off your intelligence ability. Now, there's also a section on learning spells of first level and higher. And also, you're also at first level, you're going to get arcane recovery. So now we're starting to go into the actual uh, meat of the wizard. You're going to get arcane recovery at first level. At second level, you're going to get an arcane tradition. And what the arcane tradition is, is basically it's an archetype. And every single class in D&D 5e, they all get archetypes. And there's literally 40 different archetypes to choose from, from all of the classes. So there's so much variety for the classes in D&D. And the wizard even goes a step farther because there are eight different arcane traditions which is massive it's it has the most archetypes of any other class in the D&D 5e game so we'll talk about those here in just a second so at level 4 8 12 16 and 19 you're going to get what's called ability score improvements and these ability score improvements give you two points at those levels that are designated and you can put those two points in an ability or if you'd like to go ahead and split it up and put one point into say intelligence and one point into constitution you're allowed to do that as well however you can't take that stat over a natural 20 so also if you if your DM if he or she also has the optional feats rule in effect you can actually forego taking this ability score improvement and you can take an optional feat and those are later on in the player's handbook and like I said it is an optional rule and it just depends on if your dungeon master if, if he or she wants to allow you to take those so we're gonna go ahead and look at the arcane traditions now like I said there's eight different arcane traditions which actually gives the most variety for any single class in D&D 5e the first one is the school of abjuration and all of these skills the, all of these different traits are gonna add on top of your base wizard stuff so uh, when you choose the school of abjuration you're gonna get abjuration savant at, lo at you know at the minimum level uh, at second level you're going to get Arcane Ward. At 6th level, you're going to get Projected Ward. At 10th level, you're going to get Improved Abjuration. And finally, at 14, you're going to get Spell Resistance. And that is everything with Abjuration. Now, the School of Conjuration, you get Conjuration Savant, Savant. 
you get at second level minor conjuration at sixth level you get benign trans transposition at tenth level you get focused conjuration fourteenth level you get durable summons so that's everything for the school of conjuration now the school of divination you get at first at the minimum level you get divination savant at second you get portent at sixth level you get expert divination tenth level you get the third eye interesting name there fourteenth level you get greater portent and that concludes everything for the school of divination so for the school of enchantment you get enchantment savant at level two you get hypnotic gaze at level six you get instinctive charm at ten you get split enchantment and fourteenth level you get alter memories so that's everything for school of enchantment school of evocation now the school of evocation is the is the type of archetype that is in the free basic rules so this is pretty much word for word verbatim what's in the basic rules so you do get evocation savant you get spell sculpting at second level at sixth level you get potent cantrip at tenth level you get empowered evocation at fourteenth level you get over channel and that's pretty much everything that you get for the evocation school now you also there's a choice of school of illusion now the school of illusion gives you the illusion savant also you get improved minor illusion at sixth level you get malleable illusion at tenth level you get illusory self and finally at fourteen you get illusory reality now here's an interesting one you can also choose the school of necromancy now the school of necromancy is actually quite interesting you get necromancy savant at second level you get grim harvest at sixth level you get undead thralls and at tenth level you get injured to undeath and fourteen you get command undead next is the school of transmutation the school of transmutation gives you transmutation savant at second level you get minor alchemy at sixth level you get transmuter stone shape changer at level ten at fourteen you get master transmuter and that's pretty much everything for the transmutation school so there you go there's the eight pages of the wizard with all eight different archetypes you can see it's just jam-packed full of information and also has beautiful art as well so there you go I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and like I said the basic rules has the wizard in it and only the evocation archetype so the player's handbook has a much uh, a much broader variety of archetypes for you to choose from so I hope this has helped you uh, determine if you want to pick up the player's handbook or not and if you like the video please feel free to subscribe to the channel also leave a comment below and once again my name is David with tabletopping.net and until next time keep rolling those fireball crits